Hey y'all, Trey Crowder here at New York Daily News, and I gotta get something off my chest, man. I've been trying to hold it in, be professional about it and everything, but I just, I can't no more, and I gotta be honest with you guys. Uh, I am not particularly fond of Donald Trump. There, I said it. Nah, hell, y'all know I hate that son of a bitch like Bill Clinton hates not fucking. Can't stand him, don't care who knows it. It blows my mind, not only that people support him, but that they continue to do so no matter what he says or does. This week, he went after the family of a dead U.S. soldier. Word? It's like his campaign is actively trying to see where the line is. All right, look, guys, the soldier's family it wasn't enough. All right, we got to go bigger. All right, we got to think about who can we insult next. All right, I want to think outside the box here, okay? Let me hear it. I want to hear puppies who've been chemically blinded. I want to hear homosexual legless orphans. All right, we got to think big, guys. It's incredible, and it all stems from Trump's inability to take criticism from literally any source. When the soldier's family, the cons, criticized him at the DNC and said, among other things, that he had never sacrificed anything, he responded with, of course I have. I'm a businessman. I've sacrificed plenty. I've created thousands of jobs. What does that even have to do? That's like telling a woman who's had a double mastectomy that you feel her pain because you almost bought into the Hooters franchise once. At best, it's tangentially related, and also, you're a tone-deaf piece of shit. And speaking of insulting women, I guess Trump's misogyny tank was running a little low, because later in the week, when asked what he would want his daughter Ivanka to do if she was subject to sexual harassment like the Fox News women have been, he said, well, she should just get a new job. And then one of his sons, either Huey or Dewey McFuckface, I can't remember, doubled down and said that Ivanka was too strong of a woman to allow herself to be subjected to such harassment. Oh, right, you know, unlike all those weak-willed and frail-minded women out there who've been the victims of sexual harassment before, those chicks really need to grow a pair, am I right, fellas? Look, y'all. A man who so consistently requires that such fundamental concepts of human decency be explained to him as you would to a child is demonstrably unfit to lead. What else needs to be said? Oh, I almost forgot. He also went on record this week as saying that Putin would never dare to invade the Ukraine. So, do we tell him or...